What's up, everyone? It's your boy, Nolan Rad 89 here, bringing another rad movie review. And today we're going to be talking about Brandon Cronenberg's film, Possessor. It's currently on Hulu. I checked it out. I can't wait to talk about this film. So let's get into this. This is going to be a non-spoiler review. Roll it. So Possessor is a new, more recent sci-fi horror film starring Andrea Riceborough, Christopher Abbott, and Tuppence Middleton. It's directed by Brandon Cronenberg, the son of David Cronenberg. If you don't know him, he's really popular for a lot of body horror films from back in the 80s and early 90s. So this film is a sci-fi horror film that is, oh man, it's really good. Our central story is about a girl who works for a corporate organization that does assassinations, but they do it using implants and brains so that you can you're able to take over somebody else's body and basically puppet them and kill somebody for an an assassination so let's get down to talking about some of the positives of this movie so for positives this is oh man this is definitely for me a movie that is right up my alley it's very dark sci-fi horror and the way they treat it it's treated with respect like oh i really did appreciate that like you can tell this film is just oozing with creativity and it has brandon cronenberg's just like his style all over throughout the film like i really like films like that when you watch it you can easily tell that it's that director i really do love that because that it just shows you how artistic they are and how good they are at portraying their ideas on screen. And, oh, man, Brandon Cronenberg really brought it for sure. Another thing is our character acting. Our character acting is so good. Like, all of these characters in this film, you forget their actors and actresses. You know, they just go for it all the way. They feel like these characters, and that just makes you submerse you into that world so much better. You know, it makes the world three-dimensional and something you can believe and, you know, you can live in because, like, all those characters, the way they act, the way they're reacting, it just, it's so realistic, and I really did like that aspect as well. Also, our special effects, the graphics, our body horror stuff. Oh, man. Oh, perfect. It was perfect. Thank you, Cronenberg, because it's all realistic special effects and the way they shoot it with the cinematography and just the colorization, like, you know, of everything, the scenes, the blood, the way the weapons look. Like, oh, man, it just has such a good feel to it where it's like it's artistic you know what I mean even though you're watching something horrific and gruesome like the director writer cinematography all these people they really put a lot of creativity into all the scenes and you can really tell that's why like I said this movie is just oozing with creativity and I love it because it makes a lot of more recent blockbuster films to me it just makes them look like dog shit because this film is like a lower budget type film not as popular as some of these big name films that are coming out and it's so much more creative so much more inventive and original compared to a lot of the cookie cutter like blockbuster crap that we keep seeing in the theaters and stuff that comes out like that so like i said as you can tell this film was right on my alley you know just really good character acting gruesome really good special effects that are realistic a a, a director that just really put his creativity into this movie like it just has everything I really wanted like I said I was I was watching this film that's I'm the perfect type of audience for this kind of movie this is like I said one probably one of the best sci-fi horror films that I've seen in recent years for sure so let's get down to talking about some of the negatives of this film and there's very few of them Now, my only really key negative is this is a very heavy content film. It's deliberately paced slow, and it takes its time. But in terms of that, because it's a heavy content film, it's very gruesome. The the scenes, some of the scenes are really horrific in this movie that I can see where people would be like, oh, this isn't a rewatch value type film. It's a good film, but it's not a rewatch value type film. You know, this isn't a movie that you can just pop in at any given moment, at any given day, at any given like attitude that you have. It's not like that kind of movie. Also, our main actress, Andrea Riceboro, I really did love her performance, but she's only in the movie for like a good 35 minutes where we really get to soak up her character. I really wanted more 
scenes with her as we get into the second and third act. I wanted a little, a few more scenes with her. But like I said, besides that, that's just a nitpicky thing. Besides that, this movie, like I said, I'm the perfect audience for this movie. It's right up my alley. Sci-fi horror, realistic effects, very good character development, and an interesting, intriguing story that's just going to keep you engaged in the film. So overall, in my book for the rad rating, Possessor is going to get a 9 out of 10. Like I said, oh man, this is a really great film. Like it was close, really close to getting that 10 out of 10, like I said, for it being a perfect film. The reason it's just not getting that 10 out of 10 for me is, like I said, it's a very heavy content film, like I said, that you, as a person, you can't watch it all the time. I love it, and it's right up my alley. I can rewatch it right now. But I can tell you that it's definitely a film that's designed for a specific audience. It's not going to grab everybody's eye, and this film's not for everybody. Thanks for hanging out with me all for another rad movie review. Leave your comments in the comments section below. I would love to hear from all of you. What did you think of this film? Did you enjoy it? Did you hate it? And definitely drop a like and hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all the content that I put out. I'm going to be having a lot of other videos coming up soon. I'm going to be ranking the Candyman films because we got the new one coming out in August. So... Stay tuned. Have a safe and happy day, everyone. Peace out.